what's going on everybody it's your boy worst Epic gamer and welcome back to another official soul hunter spotlight today we have the brand new hero that just dropped today in the conjuring stone i don't even know her name to be honest but as you can see behind me new hero conjuring stone let's get right to it guys we're not gonna waste any time and actually let me just take a look at what her name is here mir mira oh mira mira on the wall who's the sexiest one of all well it's not her that's for sure. So let's go ahead. I got one free pull here, guys. So my first free pull, it's got to count. If I can get a free pull right now, this would be freaking insane. Eyes closed! Wait, I opened them too early. Ow! Damn it! All right, so we didn't get on the first free pull, which kind of blows. But that's okay, guys. We're going to go ahead, open 10. First 10 pull, I would actually be really happy if I can get on this first... 10 pull right now. Let's go. That is some shitty ass luck. Boy, does my luck suck worse than ever. Alright, so second 10 pull. This has to be it right here. Please, God, give her to me right now. Yes! Woo! Thank God! Yes! Woo! Thank God! Wow! Alright, let's break this down a little bit because this looks sick! What a card! Oh my god! The Dragonborn? What does that even mean? Dragonborn? Is she half dragon, half humanoid? This is sick! Mira, I freaking love you, girl! Whoa, looking sick! Holy hell! And she can fly! Oh my god! Alright, this chick looks sick! In a kind of way, guys, it looks a lot, a little bit like, uh, Oricon! She's got his kind of arms, right? Alright, so there we go. We got her. That's actually really, really sick. Some luck on this pull right now. So let's go ahead and let's start the spotlight. Let me see how many more I got. 21 pieces. Ah, that's not even that much. Alright, but anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead. We're going to begin the spotlight for our girl Mira here. So let's go. Alright, so here we are, guys. Level 1 Mira here. Uh, first things first, let's just take a look. Uh, what does she do? Who is her daddy and what does he do? Backline DPS. Alternate between dealing long-range damage from the backline and dashing into the enemy party to assassinate the target. Yikes! That's sick. Alright, so obviously she has no magic right now, so it looks like a physical hero. Okay, okay. First things is first. Let me go ahead really quickly here and let's get her to level 100. So we can actually test her out a little bit more. And also while I do that, let's go ahead and fuse her all the way as much as I can so this is gonna be the first time that I probably have done this before guys but this is gonna be a full spotlight I'm gonna max her out all the way maybe heroic vi village as well and then also we're gonna begin her awakening so you guys will get are gonna get to see kind of her the start of her awakening uh, I have a celestial potion so we can go ahead and start and go directly to part number two of her awakening so uh, this is will be this will be a little bit cool right here so I can't wait to read her stats and see, I mean, her abilities and actually see what this girl does and take her into some battles. Woohoo! That's actually what I'm really looking forward to. Come on now! Let's hurry it up! Alright, so far I haven't noticed any items that's been crazy to get at this point. Uh, let's see here. So far, still so good. Alright. Not too bad. Let's see. Purple plus three here. Pretty straightforward for a physical hero. Not bad at all. Alright, what's this? Still nothing crazy. Alright, so we have begun the ascension. We are at orange, guys. Orange. This will take us to orange plus one. Yes, we will. And then now this will take us to the end at orange plus dosi dose. Here we go. Yes. Orange plus two. Fully maxed out. And I can also, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to equip all these goodies to her right now. Now, because the pet system has been released, I've had a lot of hard time right now with coins. I've used all my ability coins on my pets. I'm really low on coins. So enchanting her is going to be a difficult task for now. But let's go ahead. All right, I'm going to take a look at her abilities first. And then we'll start her awakening. And then we'll do all the other stuff first. All right, so... Let's go ahead, read her abilities, see what these actually do, and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, first things first is her ultimate, the Dragon's Curse. Damn, that's a long-ass ultimate. Alright, flying mode. 
or Mira, uh, Mira rushes to the enemy with the lowest physical armor, dealing AoE physical damage, stunning them and putting uh, the dragon's curse upon them. The dragon curse prevents the enemy from gaining health, and if they die under the curse, Mira, Mira gains health and energy and has reduced cooldown time between using demonic wings, which is her fourth ability. Mira then transforms back to human form. Wow. Alright, and then in human form, human mode, Mira uses all her remaining energy to deliver a brutal attack to the weakest enemy, dealing massive physical damage that ignores enemy shields. The more energy she used, the more damage is dealt. It also places the da uh, dragon's curse upon the enemy and triggers an additional explosion that deals AoE damage. Wow, that's just a lot to deal with there, guys. So, pretty freaking sick. Two different modes that she will go into. So, her flying mode, I'm guessing, is her normal mode. When she goes into human mode, she takes all of her remaining energy and turns it into power and just blasts the shit out of your opponent. That's pretty sick. And then in flying mode, she will attack the enemy with the lowest physical armor, hitting them, stunning them, and then puts the curse on them. I PUT THE CURSE ON YOU! <laughs> Alright, so that one looks pretty sick. Let's see what Magic Shock will do. I Magic Shock you. Alright, Flying Mode. Damn, this is actually different too. Flying Mode. Mira, Mira shoots magic bullets at enemy in range, reducing their physical armor as well as their magic attack. Enemies will not gain energy as a result of being struck with this attack. In Human Mode, deals physical damage to a single enemy unit. If the target is a tank, damage will be dealt as a percentage of their max health. If the target is a physical hero, they will be disarmed. If the target is a magic or support hero, they will be silenced. Oh my god, are you kidding me right now? Enemies near the primary target will also take some physical damage and be prevented from using their ultimate for a short time. Oh wow! This is such a sick uh, ability here. This is her second ability. Wowzers, Bowsers, this is sick guys. You can also read this yourself and break it down, but these abilities are insane. They're gonna take some time to actually break down, digest, I mean dissect, and uh, really understand, because this is a lot that she's got going on here. Dragon's Shadow is her third ability, and uh, once again, in flying mode, she hovers over the battlefield for 6 seconds, rapidly gaining health and energy. She cannot be selected as the primary target of an attack, during this time, if she takes damage equivalent to 10% of her health, while this ability is being used, it will end immediately. Oh, crap. That sucks. So if she takes 10% of damage while she's in this, this ability will end right away. So that's not that good. But she cannot be targeted as a primary attack. So that's actually pretty good. In human mode, she stabs the enemy with the highest DPS with a dragon bone. If the enemy is currently affected by a control ability, the energy gain due to being hit by this ability is reduced by 50% and they will take damage over time. Boy, she's got a lot, a lot, a lot of different, different abilities, guys. Um, it'll be diff very, well, it'll be very difficult to actually have one plan for her because you know, depending on whether she's in human mode or in flying mode, uh, it's going to really change the outcome of the battle, but... All of them are sick. They're all really, really sick abilities here. Alright, let's take a look at Demonic Wings here. Because this kind of has a lot to do with her ultimate. So, when in flying mode, Mira... 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 Is immune to 10% of magic damage taken. And has her defensive stats increased. In human mode, Mira is immune to 10% of physical damage uh, taken. And has incre increased attack stat, dodge rating, and lifesteal. When she is affected by a control ability, she immediately breaks free of it and uh, flicks the enemy who casts the control ability with terror. Oh. At the same time, she increases her physical attack and attack speed. The ability is triggered once every 9 seconds. Oh my god, she seems like an insane hero, guys. In freaking sane. Wowzers, and if you thought that wasn't enough, let's take a look at her awakening ability here because this is so crazy. All right, when she takes a lethal amount of damage, Mira is able to block this damage, gain a small amount of health, and automatically trigger her ultimate. The amount of health gain depends on Mira's star level. This ability can only be used once per wave. All right, so pretty much when she's about to get killed, she will block that damage. All right. 
gain some health and automatically use her ultimate. This can only be used once per battle, but that's all you need. Oh my god. This chick is unreal. Uh, okay, on freaking real, guys. She seems so freaking cool that on today's live stream, I'm going to try to get her to like five stars. I swear to god. I have to do it. She seems incredible. Wowzers, Bowsers. All right, let's go ahead and I'm gonna start her ultimate guys I mean her awakening right now because there's no really no time to wait celestial potion in my bag Yes, I will use it. Let's use the celestial potion and we got the dragon's marrow, which is her ability there so There we go. Let's Equip this to her and boom there you go her awakening item has been equipped it. now. She's definitely a lot stronger Let's accept that one. Let's go to part number two, which is the dojo ride of the Valkyries. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the dojo for her because today is Sunday. Luckily, we can do this. And then the next day this is available, we will have it all ready for, for her awakening, right? So let's go ahead. Let's use you, you, you. Uh, and let's go with Mariel. Why not? Let's see what she actually does right here, right now. We can actually test her out just a tad bit here. And see what our abilities are actually gonna do. Okay, she, she might not have a chance, guys. My team is too OP. They will not even... Damn it. They will not even give her a chance to do anything. But I'm gonna use this here right now. Oh, and then, boom, she changes modes. Alright, so I see. So, I think at like 25, even with a little bit of uh, energy, she's able to change from fly mode to human mode. Because right now she's in human mode, so all her abilities change a lot. And it seems like in human mode... She terrorizes everybody. Wow. But she comes out in flying mode, which is pretty sick. So when she's in flying mode right now, she might be able to get some more health. Jesus Christ, I gotta actually take a look at her abilities again. And I'm going to take her out into a one-on-one -on -one battle here because I want to see what she does. Let's go her ultimate once again here. Let's see what it's going to do. Ultimate! Now! Well, look at this crash. Oh, I didn't even have to because she died. Damn you. But there we go. We're done with that. Now I can actually just sweep five more times. Yes. Okay, so there we are with the ultimate. So far so good with the ultimate, guys. With our awakening, I mean. Let's go on to another part to fully enhance this chick. Alright, so since I'm really low on gold, guys, I really can't enhance any of her uh, items right now. So I can't do anything with her at the moment right now. So all we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take her into a battle. So we can actually see her fight one-on-one -on -one, and that'll be it. But I'm going to have to get my gold up really quickly. Alright, there we go. We are in a campaign battle. So let's take a look at exactly what she does here, guys. First of all, that was a basic attack, I think, right there. Boom! Whoa! That was such a sick attack! AoE damage to everybody. Uh-oh. Uh oh Alright, one thing about her that I'm noticing is she might be a little bit weak. As in health-wise. But nothing is enchanted and she is only 3 stars. So there she goes crashing down. She's in human mode now. And uh, in human mode she does a lot of physical damage. She's in your opposite side of the field. Pretty sick. Now I'm gonna use her ultimate. This is in human mode ultimate. Ha! Whoa, she just took those guys out really freaking quickly there. And this was the ability where she flies up and she's gaining health for 6 seconds. Let's AoE attack again. One more attack. Boom! Alright, damn. She's got too many different abilities to actually tell at this point right now until I'll, a little bit further on. But it seems phenomenal, and she's obviously a flying hero, so she will help you in your prophecy pool, Polaris, so that is a plus. There she goes, a dragon form, human mode. Now watch this attack right here, she's gonna do a lot of damage right here. Uh oh, we got fish pounded! Alright, let's go ultimate here. What's gonna happen? Boom! 32,000! Wow, 13,000! So she did 32,000 plus 13,000. Back to back. That's insane. That's freaking crazy. And then right after that, she goes into her ability. The crazy thing is, is right after that, she goes into her ability where she's in the air, regaining health. Oh, God. She seems phenomenal. There's the stun. And then I'm going to change from human form. I'm going to change the flying mode now. Let's see what happens here. Yep, flying mode. 
This is her ability where she gains her health and energy. She cannot be hit at that point. And now, boom! Wow. I am starting to get the hold of her now. Starting to get the hang of how she works. So, in reality, she does a lot more damage when she's human form. Let's use ultimate. Alright, ultimate while she is in flying mode. Go ultimate. Crashes down. Stuns. And now she will go all out savage mode. Go. Oh, never mind. She died. She died! She cannot handle all these ones all at once. But... Nonetheless, 247,000 on her own is a hell of a lot of damage, guys. So, that's very impressive. She is an impressive, impressive hero. So, she's a backliner. Let me just take a look real quickly here. I'm going to kind of just see where she will fall in line in the backline, guys. Um, let me just scroll down here. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Alright. She's the best backliner in the game. Ha <laughs> Uh, maybe. Magnus is also... Don't sleep on Magnus. He's a killer. Magnus is a beast. Embryel is pretty cool as well. But... She might be your best... Or second best. Between her and Magnus, your backline DPS heroes, guys. She's phenomenal. One of the best backliners in the game for sure. Now I have to pretty much get all of her abilities maxed out. And she was doing all that damage with, like... Her abilities only level 6. I can only imagine how powerful she's going to be maxed out. So, crazy, crazy stuff, guys. So, if you want to take a look a little bit more about her, check me out live today, guys. But for now, I'm going to end it off here. I will catch you guys next time on another Soul Hunters episode. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, good night, peace out.